Hello, welcome to the last video of this section, Network Policies, in which we are going to cover Network Policies, Security Policies, Traffic Shaping, Teaming and Failover. First question is, why we need of Network Policies? In recent time, we have lot of attacks on our network. So we want to secure our network, we want to secure our data center. For securing the network, we need some policies which can be enhance the security and which can harden the virtual network. So that's why we need network policies. Network policies are defined at two levels. One on the virtual switch and second one is on port group. If you are applying network policy at a standard switch, it propagated to all standard port groups on that particular switch. And if you apply on port group, then it override the policy which is applied from the standard switch. Now we have three types of network policies. One is security, second one is traffic shaping, and third one is teaming and failover. Security. In security, we have three types. Promise case mode, MAC address change, and force transmit. Promise case mode is by default rejected, whereas MAC address change and force transmit is by default accepted. What is promise case mode? Promise case mode, if you change to accept, then the guest operating system can receive all traffic which passes through the virtual switch or port group. Let's take example that we have two port groups, PGA and PGB. In PGA, we have two virtual machines as P VM1 and VM2. In PGB, we have another two virtual machines as VM3 and VM4. If promiscuous mode is set to reject, PGA and PGB will not send traffic across and will not deliver packet as a point-to-point -point delivery. But if you set it to accept mode, then it will transfer the traffic to both PGA and PGB and VM1, 2, 3 and 4 as well. MAC address change. This security policy is enabled by default on the standard switch. And if it is an accepted mode, then host accepts request to change the effective MAC address to different one than the original one. Force transmit. Force transmit is concerned with outgoing traffic. If force transmit is set to reject, then traffic will not be passed from the virtual machine to the virtual switch. If the initial and the effective MAC address do not match. Traffic shaping. In traffic shaping, it has three types. One is average bandwidth, another is peak bandwidth, and third one is burst size. It used to control the virtual machine network bandwidth and it restricts the network bandwidth which is available at the port level. And it allows burst of traffic to flow through at the higher speed. And EHSI shapes outbound network traffic on a standard switch and inbound and outbound traffic on distributed switch and traffic shaping is disabled by default on the standard switch. Here we have example. We have average bandwidth as a 6 and peak bandwidth as a 10. And we have burst bandwidth which is showing as 9. Average bandwidth is specified in KBPS, peak bandwidth is specified in KBPS and burst size is specified in KB. Teaming and failover. In teaming and failover, we have different types. One is load balancing, network failure detection, notify switches, failback and failover order. In load balancing, we have four types. First one is route based on the originating virtual port ID. Second one is route based on source MAC hash, third one is route based on IP hash and last use explicit failover order. 
In network failure detection, we have link status only and beacon probing. In notify switches, we have yes and no. Failback, we have yes and no. And in failover order, we have three types. One is active adapters, standby adapters, and unused adapters. Now, the last question is how to apply these policies. To apply those policies, we have to log into the vCenter server using the web client. And you have to click on the host and go to the networking under the configuration tab. Select virtual switch and click on the pencil icon to add it. And there you'll get these options and you can apply according to your requirement. And that's all from the networking session. In next section, we are going to cover virtual storage. Thank you. Stay tuned.